going on here. Um, looks like a bit of a rejection. I was definitely wrong here, but thank God I didn't have any entries and that I lined up. Um, and don't get it twisted when I'm wrong. I'll tell you, I'll document it. I'll make a red line like this. The catch is, is I never, I didn't have a entry here. Um, even though I thought it was going to go down, there was never an entry, so I can delete that without, you know, feeling bad about it. Feeling like I'm trying to hide anything. Um, let's see. I don't really see anything on this chart, man. I, it doesn't look like anything I want to trade either. We're so sideways right now. Um, we might be able to break through this and, and hit this level, but eh. let that one go. Uh, I've been liking this one for a while. Let's see. Let's see if we got any entries. One thirty. We locked in 11%. Um, God almighty. We locked in 11% way down here, right? We missed this move, which would have been so crazy how this trading stuff works, man. This is me not getting all the move. 14%. Yeah, almost 15 Shit's crazy. So yeah, something like that. Anyways, <clears throat> interesting to look back. Um, this looks like it's rounding the cover corner. Um, MACD looks like it wants to go up. Uh, we haven't broken anything important on the four hour just yet. Man, I'm getting hella pop ups today. Sorry about that, y'all. You'll know that I'm doing all right whenever I uh, upgrade to the pro subscription and I got some money uh, trading and all that good stuff. So that's that's coming soon. Uh, for now, I just want to offer this analysis. And the reason I feel so good about it is because I'm I, I feel like I have mastered my setup um, and it's taken me a long time. It's taken me a good four or five years um, of really pounding the charts, being on the charts every single day. Uh, reading and going through the Infinite Prosperity course and taking Live Trader with Eric Pekarski and uh, just really investing in it, you know? That's that's kind of what it takes, though. So if you're wondering, you know, why I'm making these videos without trading real money right now, I'm not even paper trading. I'm just showing you analysis. I think a lot of people get ahead of themselves with this trading stuff and they want to jump right in the driver's seat before they learn to analyze anything, before they really understand uh, probability or, or any of that. I only say it because I, and that's what I did exactly. I was way ahead of myself. Anyways, okay. Um, uh, that doesn't tell me a lot. This looks like it's going to fall off, maybe, or go sideways. Slow fall off from the four hour. Interesting. We might be early here. Yeah, I think we might have a trade here. This is baseline, so we can roll on baseline. Maybe we fall down and bounce off of this or something and do something crazy, but we don't really have like a pyramid play here. If we do have one, if you really want to try to make something out of nothing type of situation um it's gonna look like this that one to this one so this would be the end of it if it drops down so yeah i'll watch this and try to see could be interesting this is really interesting man i've been waiting for this trade to fall off the damn cliff <laughs> but it's not doing it um magd is definitely poised Take a look at this. This is crazy. 
So this is called divergence. You look at the chart and it looks like it's going straight up. It's like a rocket ship here. Even though it kind of broke the trend line, it still somewhat stayed on it, right? Um, <clears throat> maybe it just keeps climbing higher. I don't know. It looks like it's slowing down though. Just the pace of it and the size of the bars are kind of sideways instead of up. Uh, diagonal is kind of more sideways right now. Anyways, MACD tells me a story called Divergence. You see this, these peaks are getting lower and lower and uh, you know, slowly pointing downward. So yes, I'm going to look for a massive drop. That could be a beautiful uh, trade to enter. But still, you want to make sure your time is on point. But I feel like it's going to be like a huge, like a real massive drop. I could get in right here. Um, I'm super tempted to actually. Let me try to. Mess this up. I hate that part of the game. Okay, so if I say, all right, I'm clicking in right here. Live entry. We'll do it. Y'all know how I feel, but we'll do it. Maybe I've gotten better to where I can do this now. I don't know. Um, I've always been kind of shy about the live entries. Because uh, I've gotten burned. Yeah, with the, with the live entries for sure. It's a huge part of it. So plenty of breathing room. Um, I think I dropped down to. Holy crap, man! There's so much room. <laughs> There's so much room with this train. Dang! Let's say we hit this area, right? That is a eight percent move. Question is, do we want to get in right here? I say yes. Let's go ahead and do it. Risk it. Risk this one percent. This is how it shapes up. We're live. This is it. Get in there. All right. And we're gonna watch and see what happens. It's gonna be interesting for sure. Is that it? Yeah. That's a good stop. So I'm looking at the stop, trying to make sure that I'm out of range. Um, if I'm wrong, if I'm really wrong, then I'll get, you know, uh, stopped out here. But I'm above 382. I'm above this trend area, obviously. Um, I'm above the 200 EMA. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of action above this 382 anyway. So we barely reached above it here. So yeah. I'm gonna play this and try to see. Alright. Okay, so GBP pairs in the next video. Alright, peace.